Methylene blue is a fascinating substance. It is a dye formulated in 19th century, probably deserves the title of the original incidental biohack. The science of it is easily found, so I am not going to spend time on it in this video. Let's just get to the point of how it can benefit our animals. In 1957, in Nature Journal, Arti Purcell, a veterinarian, wrote about methylene blue being standard cancer treatment for dogs, given intravenously and having tremendous success against fast-growing sarcomas. Why it fell out of favor considering its effectiveness and safety? Well, it's not patentable and it's not profitable either. The range of its benefits is really wide because it accomplishes multiple actions simultaneously. It acts against harmful pathogens and toxins while enhancing oxygen uptake and mitochondria, thereby increasing energy and vitality of the organism. It has been used in many ways, from being an antidote to cyanide poisoning, to treating malaria, urinary infections, sepsis, topical wounds, etc. Cattle owners, you should know that it antidotes nitrate poisoning as well. While nitrate poisoning most often happens in cattle, just due to proximity to farm fields, it can happen to any animal exposed to fertilizer runoff. What is very exciting about methylene blue is its protective role for the heart and brain. When you know how it upregulates oxygen saturation and mitochondria, you can see how many conditions would be positively affected by it. Let's look at brain injury, including stroke. How important do you think it is to preserve oxygen load in a situation like that? And for continued recovery? Because remember that conventional treatment has only a small window of time, but methylene blue gives you the opportunity for continuous improvement. Not to mention that you can apply it immediately as long as you have it. So make sure you have it. Basically, think of it any time there is hypoxia, even anemia, where it helps indirectly. Let's shift to practical aspects. Where to buy it and in what form? You can find it in many places online, including Amazon, of course. Just make sure it's pharmaceutical grade, and that's usually well noted. You can buy methylene blue to disinfect your fish tank, but don't use that one internally. It could be the same thing, but who can guarantee? Most common is the liquid form, and it's probably the easiest for administering to the animals and for the topical applications too. How much to use? Well, first is how big is your animal? Safe oral dose for animals and humans is published at half to four milligrams per kilo of body weight. A drop of liquid tincture usually has half a milligram. So if we were to average that to say one drop per pound, that would be like lower end of safety. And you know, that's a lot. You will probably never give that much or take that much. To start with, or with a small animal, you can even divide a drop. You would dissolve it first and give a part of that. Apart from your animal size, consider the need. If we just compare two healthy dogs, where one is a pet that just needs a bit more energy, while the other is a working dog learning new skills, the working dog will obviously need more because metal in blue enhances memory, focus, and recall. So the benefits are clear. And if you do have a student in your household, remember this. Methylene blue can easily be added to food and water, but remember that it is a dye. So if it is spilled on a white carpet, that white carpet may no longer be white. It also turns urine blue, so that's nothing to be worried about, but to know and consider the accidents, including vomiting. Most animals do have impeccable instincts and know what is good for them. So you can offer two water sources, 
put metal in blue in one and allow the animal to doze itself. Always start with low concentration because there's a really strong color to it that may appear suspicious to an animal at first. Doesn't taste great either. Is it ever not okay to give methylene blue? Obviously, too much of a good thing is too much. So super large doses can be detrimental, but I honestly don't know how you would ever end up giving that much. So just use common sense. Start with low dose and build up until you see the effect you want. Methylene blue is contraindicated with certain drugs like antipsychotic drugs, but hopefully you know better than to have your animals on those. It's also contraindicated in some congenital blood disorders, but do talk to a knowledgeable health practitioner you trust. Again, common sense, right? Methylene blue can also easily be added to any skin preparations. After all, it's used even in cosmetics. So any creams, oils, sprays, ointments, it will increase the healing properties of whatever you're using. So when it comes to topical applications, I'm a huge fan of castor oil and true, real, raw honey. In fact, when it comes to burns, it's only raw honey I would be using. But, of course, with the animals and their hair, it's sticky, it's hard, right? So, especially when you have an animal that's relatively healthy and moving around, I know it's difficult. So then, think of methylene blue. And remember that you can literally add it to everything. So, these are your basics. Now you have another tool in your health box. Use it well.